you doing? Can you put your tongue away, please? Burpa. Yeah. Hello. That was a burp. <laughs> Hello and welcome to R.E.D. I've just noticed that. When did you do that, baby? And what is that? Is that makeup or is that ink? What is it? Gaga. Hello. I thought I would stop my video today not looking like a half dead zombie. Uh-oh. Hello. So I thought I would start my video today uh, not looking like a half dead zombie. I'm actually dressed and all that shit. And you look lovely today, don't you, Edie? You look lovely. You're in your summer uh... clothes. You're covered in toothpaste, but we can sort that out. Can you blow a kiss? Good girl, you did it! Um, so yeah, today. Uh, my dad uh, my dad is doing a little bit better today. His oxygen's a bit better. His sats are all a bit better. So that's good. He's on antibiotics. So I assume they're thinking he has pneumonia. I don't know because I know they don't give antibiotics for, or antibiotics don't help a virus. Oh, that's a nice cuckoo. Do you miss your gammas? Do you love your gammas? Can you send gammas a kiss? Ah, uh, oh, you love gammas, don't you? I said yesterday I'm doing three daily goals and uh, my three daily goals today are, my personal one is to get some outside time with Edie because I think it's so important and the weather's beautiful today. I don't want perfume in my mouth. Okay, maybe I do then. Uh, my hair? Oh, that's a lovely tongue, well done. Um, my practical goal is to hoover and clean the floors downstairs, which I've done. My creative goal is to finish a little bit more, or write a little bit more of the song that I started yesterday, which is kind of about this really shitty situation that we're in. It's called Through the Glass. Um, and yeah, um, I've just spoken to the doctor as well. Well, about an hour ago, I spoke to the doctor because I had an MRI a few weeks ago to find out uh, just to have a look at my spine and my pelvis to see if there was any answers as to why I was in so much pain. I mean, we know that I've got arthritis and sciatica in my hips and my back, so just thought we'd have a look. And there are some problems with my discs. Um, two of them are mild, one of them is more severe. And it's likely I'm gonna need spinal surgery to remove part of them. I, I don't really understand. and. I can't speak to my normal doctor until all of this is done. So when coronavirus is gone, I can go and speak to my doctor and find a plan because uh, I need to be referred for to the pain clinic, first of all, and then possibly to the spinal team. So yeah, that's a bit shit. Um, although to be honest, it's kind of a relief to know that there was something there because I think I've had, you know, tests and they've been like, oh, there's nothing there. So it must be in your head. So to know that they kind of, um, they know there's something there. They don't know if that's what's causing the pain, but you know. Um, I've had some ideas for some videos that I want to do and I just wanted to know your guys' thoughts. Um, there, I want to try and do some more mental health based videos because that is essentially what my channel is about. Um, I've had some ideas. Uh, uh, uh. Thank you, Edie. I've had some ideas, um, but I don't know whether it's relevant at this time because so much of the world is focused on, you know, being in isolation and coronavirus and all of that. And some of them are to do with that, but is it appropriate? Is it not appropriate? Let me know your guys' thoughts. One of them I was going to do, so the a few of the ideas I've had, one of them is to do with this situation is how I'm trying to keep mentally healthy while in isolation, the things I'm doing. Um, another one is not to do with this and it's about kind of body image, body dysmorphia, facial dysmorphia and how it affects me. So yeah, I've had, I've had quite a few ideas, but is it, is it, a, is it appropriate at this time? I don't know. What do you think? Because, you know, people that are going through these things are still going through them irrespective of the virus. So what do you think? Um, I quite like the idea of getting them filmed, even if I don't upload them now, because whilst I feel like I've got that drive to do that and to talk about that, because it's quite a difficult thing to talk about. I need to crack on with a few jobs now and do some playing with Little Miss here. Edie, how old are you going to be? 
Two. Two. Good girl. Right, I'll speak to you later. I'm desperately fighting a nap because I'm tired, but I know that I want to try and be productive because I'll feel better about myself if I have been productive. Um, and also now it's kind of too late because, you know, you'll be awake in an hour. It will take me about half an hour to get to sleep. So there's no point. <sighs> oh, God. Oh, it's just, I'm just down about Edie's birthday. I'm going to try and crack on with this. I need to work out what these... Wait there. Where is it? Oh, and so now my computer's frozen, so that's great. Edie learnt something funny yesterday. She's learnt to fart on command. So if I say to her, squeeze it, she does a fart. Well, if she's got a fart in her, which is quite funny. Oh, no, I don't want that. I'm still hoping that Edie's presents might turn up, but they're not going to, let's be honest. I've been waiting eight days for the other one, and now this one. It's just it's not coming, I just accept it. Right. So these are the chords I've got. So that is... I'm writing kind of a lullaby. Kind of. It's... I don't really write happy songs. I don't... Which is funny, that. But, um, yeah, I don't... I don't write happy songs. I also don't massively like happy songs. I just think... You know, sad songs are more emotional and all that shit. Um, it's just, I prefer listening to sad songs as well. So, um, this is a, ha I say it's a happy song. It is a happy song. It's, it's called, I don't know what it's called. It's a song for Edie. It's basically a lullaby for Edie. Um, so I kind of want a lullaby sound. Um, I don't know what a lullaby sound is. So I'm going to have to... That's that. That's ish. Oh, right there, right there. That's a bit pretty, isn't it? Um, I don't know what I'm trying to do. That's what's really annoying. Well, I do know what I'm trying to do, but it's just beyond my musical capabilities. So this is what's really, really fucking annoying about my brain. Um, I started doing something that I kind of quite liked, and then I realised that it was in the chords of the song I just that I was supposed to be working on, um, that I originally said I wanted the one that I started yesterday. And so it's like I'm working on... So my brain is trying to do two different things at once. And it's like... No. So whilst it's in my brain, I'm going to try and put that down in the other in the track of what I was going to be doing. And then go back to the lullaby song. I know this won't mean anything to anyone except me. But I said I was filming my day. So that's what I'm doing. <sighs> Honestly, I really want a nap really tired but I know that it'll make me feel good to do something so yeah I will come back to you when I've actually done something proper ah the naivety of past me um I didn't do anything proper I just messed around a little bit but that's fine I my goal for today wasn't to finish anything it was just to do something on one of the songs and I did that so that's fine so Edie is still napping um, I'm still pissed off that none of her birthday presents are anywhere near here, my house. So I am going to have a bath because my scalp is hurting, which means that my hair needs a wash. Um, whilst Edie's asleep and Dexter is out on a walk. Um, so, yeah. I will catch you tomorrow. I think I'm going to try and uh, film a video tomorrow. A sit-down video, I think. I don't know. But anyway, thank you for watching. Bye.